That's beautifully played on the back foot down the ground. A misfield from Kumle and Tendulkar, and this would be four more to Martin Crowe. This time he chips it in the air, and the placement is very, very good from Martin Crowe. A sweep shot from Crowe, and not picked up at all by the fielder at backward square leg, and that's race to the fence for four more. The end of the over, 102 for two. The running between the wickets has got him tired. It reaches a half century with that single. Much to the joy of the New Zealand dressing room and to a lot of spectators here. There you can see where Martin Crow has got most of his runs. It's been on the onside. He's in fact picked up 37 of his runs there. Straight back, and he's dropped in. That's yet another chance for Martin Crow. That's his third chance going down, and this was a straightforward catch. It goes in and then goes out. <laughs> and this is a glorious shot from Martin Crow. Straight down the ground over long off for six. New Zealand needing 96 runs and 19.2 overs. The asking rate now below five runs per over. So if they don't lose wickets, they should get that target. Oh, done! A bit of hesitation there. Scroll sent back by Fleming, but gets back just in the nick of time. 31 overs gone. New Zealand 141 for two. He's given 38 runs in his uh, 7.4 overs. And Crow again over the top. And this is another six. Just clearing Kumble at long off. But the intention was there for Martin Crow again down the track. And just over Anil Kumble's head for yet another six. It shows how important it is to get this man out. Steps out and lifts it over the top for another six. Kumble making a vain effort, but in, uh, couldn't stop that. That six also brought up the 150 of the Indian innings. New Zealand at the end of the 32nd over at 151 for two. And there you see the asking rate dropping down all the time. If New Zealand do manage to win here, this will really be a good one-day series because India have been very successful at home in all forms of cricket. And as far as the computer ratings go, they are the number one side in the world in one-day cricket. Flicked away, fine for four. A full toss from Prasad on leg stump and Crow making no mistake. Well, this really has been a fruitful partnership for New Zealand. Back with. The key to doing well in the limited overs game is to build partnerships at the top of the order. And these two have now added 123. The second time they've done it against India. Beautifully clipped. Sending the ball in the right direction. Prabhakar had gone wide at the stumps. It's back with every department of the game. And we must give full credit to them. He slides that away for a touch of variety between the singles. Martin Crow produces a boundary, brings up 200 for New Zealand. So. And once again, that's gone through Crow. Very well disguised. So just a chance to regather his thoughts. Straight bowling, straight batting. We're in the over, 210 for two after 43. 
So in the air from Crow and safe again, just clearing the 30 meter circle and picking up two. So now 98, Martin Crow. He's up the 150 partnership between Crow and Fleming. Little clenched fist from Fleming, he knows that. And he's not far to go. They'd love to do it together. Equal contribution really from both. And 98, Crow facing Prasad. Full toss and down the ground. Fleming takes off, he's running to the danger end, he's coming back. It's going to be a close call and Fleming is home and Crow has his hundred. The umpire has called for the screen but I, I don't think he needs it. But we'll take a look now. This is the throw from Ajay Jadeja. And Venkatesh Prasad in fact was looking at the striker's end and that's what allowed Stephen Fleming to come in and that is Martin Crow's hundred. The New Zealand balcony absolutely delighted, giving Crow a big hand, and so does the crowd now. And that's straight down the ground from Crow. No need to run for that one. Beautifully placed and timed. And Crow has been waiting to cut loose. He's got the opportunity here down the track and straight over Kumble's head for four runs. So another single down to Sidhu, and with that boundary, Martin Crow now has brought up his highest one-day score, his previous best, 104. And that was at Auckland some time ago, I think about 11 years ago. So a little milestone, 83-84 series. We've gone now to 107.